Hi, I'm just going to give you a simple guide to the sats that are starting the week May the 13th to May the 16th, 2019. So this guide is just to give you an idea of what secondary schools do with the sats results, what type of routine you might need this final week and just how to get through it and what it means to each of you as a child or as a parent. As a secondary school teacher myself, what we do with these SATs results, we take the results to try and determine a target grade for each student by the end of year 11. So if for any reason you as a child or a parent, if you're concerned that your child isn't performing as well as they should do and those results don't reflect how good your child is, don't worry because teacher assessment throughout the school year, how they've done in their primary schools and initial baseline testing that schools carry out will also reflect the results, the sets students are placed in once they go into high school and those target grades can be changed. So everything does not need to rest on these SATs results. So there doesn't need to be a great concern if students don't perform as well as they could do or if for any reason they miss out. So that final week, you would have, your child or you as a child taking the SATs will have built up revision. You will have got into a routine practice papers etc so this final week now should just be a case of getting lots of rest just basic recap and sticking with your routine the routine shouldn't change too much otherwise things become very different for the child and then that just play can place a lot more stress on a child taking the sats don't worry what you should be doing is making sure that you get plenty of enjoyment relax stick with your usual routine and Make sure, of course, that you have a nice, good, healthy breakfast before the SATs. Some schools do head up breakfast clubs. Your child may want to go to this or choose not to because they just want to stick with their usual routine, which is perfectly fine. So a good, healthy, balanced diet, plenty of sleep. Make sure they stick with their usual sporting routine because that can help burn off any nervous energy. Relax. Talk to your child child children talk to your friends it doesn't always have to be about sats and don't talk about the what you put down for your results okay because that will make no difference and nothing can be done about it after the test listen to music have fun play games get out and get some fresh air plenty of sleep plenty of relaxed time and do your best good luck to all those taking the sats and as this little poem here reflects it doesn't show how you can do Your stats won't show how you are capable in everything when it comes to sport, artistic temperament, okay? It reflects on English, maths, mainly, okay, to do with your spelling, your punctuation, your grammar, your mathematical reasoning and arithmetic and reading. But there is more to an individual than just those three strands. Good luck.